Hello everyone and welcome to my channel X7 Scratch Tutorials. My name is Suryansh Kushwaha and today we are going to make a simple game in Scratch. So first of all we are going to rename the Scratch project to Ping Pong because that's what we are going to make today. Next every Scratch project comes with this default Scratch sprite so I'm going to delete this and now it is empty so first i am going to create the backdrop for the game so i will go into the backdrops and i will paint it so i will go go to fill and do it black and i will take paint and i will do it 100 so the really big brush is here and i am going to paint it whole black So it's fully black and now you can see it's black now what we are going to do is we are going to add a line in it here i'm going to make a line brightness full saturation zero and now in the center i'm going to set it to 15 and I'm going to draw a line right he right here and the line will be completely white so it could be seen in the black backdrop and here it is a line next I'm go right here and select this line I'm going to do this line a little bit long I place this line in the center so here it is M. now the line is in the center let me now it's fully in the center now it is done now I have to create the bat and the ball so first I'm going to create a ball here I will draw a ball completely white I will zoom in so it, it's in the center so it causes no problems and i will place it right here in the center now it is done now we have a ball now we want this ball to bounce around so to make it bounce around and around i will take when green flag clicked and then i will go into the control tab and i will place forever here and then i will go into the motion and i will place here move three steps and now when I will click this it will go now I want to re reset the game again and again so I will go into the go, go to X this and by this I will set X to 0 Y to 0 now when I will click this it will again and again come to X 0 Y 0 and now I want to a paddle so I will go into paint and I will draw a square paddle in the center like this a long paddle now I'm going to rename this sprite means the ball to ball this is the paddle so I will name it paddle and now I'm going to duplicate this and I will rename this enemy paddle and now there is a ball paddle and enemy paddle so I'm going to put a place the enemy paddle right here now when I will play this the ball is not bouncing from the side so to make it bounce from the side and there are also other problems that I have to move this like this and this to throw the ball away. So for that, I'm going to place when green flag clicked forever loop and I will place and I will go into the motion and I will set it Y. 
so I will take mouse Y and then I will click this it will move where the mouse is now I want to make this move so to ma make it move I have to come right here when green flag click forever loop and then here I will take background of this or strip this then I will set it by and I will set it to ball and now here are coming all the possibilities of the ball so I will set it to the Y position of ball and here it is so wherever the ball will be now the ball is in the center so it will stay in the center the ball will be right there okay now I want the ball to bounce here and there for that I will take if then and duplicate it so there are two if then and I am going to put this in the ball one go to the ball click if right here and if right here now in I will go into the <sighs> fencing and I will take this and I will set it to paddle and this to enable paddle and now if it will be touching paddle then it, it will bounce some other place and it, if it will be touching this then it will bounce to other place so I will set it to touching paddle and touching enemy paddle and now I am going to set it motion di its direction so when it will touch the paddle it will go right there it will touch the enemy paddle it will go into the other direction so now I am playing this you can see that it is bouncing but now I know that it will go there and it will come again here so no need to do anything it will bounce to me but I want it to be random so how to make it random I will go into the operators I will pick random so this pick randoms give us random things like it will pick random from 1 to 10 right so now I can't predict then which number will it be taking so what I will do that I will set it to its direction for myself when I will bounce from 48 48 to 149 149 I'll put it in this right here and for myself it can be from minus 48 to minus 149 and now when I will place it right here and when I will play this so now I can't predict like I will bounce it right here and now see the other problem it's just crashing into the wall so I don't want it to crash it in the wall I want it to bounce away from the wall so what I will do I will take if on edge bounce and I will put it right here let's play this let's leave it so you can see it's bouncing from the top here and now I can't even predict that where the ball will come So it's a good and now to make this game a little bit more cool you can it's optional if you want to do this you can do go into the backdrops and set the backdrops color to a different color like sky blue okay sky blue pen
and do it whole sky blue. I just want to do the black part sky blue. That part can stay white. Okay. Color that also. Why it's appearing again and again? Okay, let's create another backdrop. So I can paint this whole blue. And it's painted blue. So I can add a line in the center. Like this and put it right here. I want to straighten this. How will I do that? It's tilting more. Okay. Why did it disappear? Where did it went? Okay. And draw another line always. So now here it is and now what I can do is when green flag clicked forever looks change color effect by one and now you see so see we are playing on a color changing background can you see So it's op optional whether you want to do this you can do if you don't want to do this don't do so only this much for today's videos like subscribe my channel and bye bye